This is um going to be While I'm well aware that this podcast is mainly an outlet for random conversations and thoughts and all that, this is where we're going to have High Medias and by extension Haggard Innovations um, comments on the events of last night, May 30th, 2020, and the riots that happened in our home of Wilmington, Delaware. To all the protesters that are saddened and frustrated and hurt by a system that refuses to bend, that refuses to change, that continues to keep people downtrodden and hurt. You are heard. And do not let the actions of a greedy few take away the merits of that protest. I went down to those protests last night checking on a friend I went down to that protest with the sole purpose of bringing some friends some supplies water because it's hot milk just in case shit went south and to represent to stand in solidarity I didn't, by the time I got there, what was a, what was a peaceful but firm condemnation of a system that hurt, that has been hurting people for a long time, devolved into bad anarchy. And... There are about, I would wait, I would wager that at least a quarter of the businesses on Market Street are black owned. At least two thirds of the businesses on Market Street are local shops, small businesses run by people who live and work in the city. I saw Levy's Pond, I saw, I saw from across the street. A swarm of humanity break open the back door to Levy's Pawn Shop, who, which has been in business for generations, has 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 the grandparents working alongside their kids and grandkids in the shop. Broken into, and I saw people walking out with boxes and strollers and lawn mowers and all manner of things. I saw Dragon Cuisine, the aftermath of which, of Dragon Cuisine getting its windows blown in. The owner of which, Mr. Chen, is a kind and upstanding and and hardworking man. He didn't deserve that. This is sad. I'm sad. My city is bleeding. My home is bleeding. Wilmington is bleeding. It's... I woke up this morning to see lots of cars on my ho- on, on Delaware Avenue with their windows busted out. When I got home last night, I walked into the up the pizza parlor near my my place of residence, and my buddy who works the shop had blood all over him because a group of protest a group of not protesters because the protesters ca- are causing just a group of rioters taking advantage of the situation took a man, dragged him along the asphalt, beat and bloodied him. The Walgreens across the street of that pizza place 
got its windows blown out. So did the Acme nearby. And even my friend who works at the pizza shop had a brick thrown through his house as well. This is... This is... This... Wilmington deserves better, man. Its people deserve better. The protesters deserve better. I'll leave you with this. It is sad, so sad, that the actions of a greedy few can turn a protest into a riot, no matter how just their cause is. And that's sad.